G'day again, this is Phil from Red Robot Industries. I'm going to teach you today about how to make your own preset in Social Booth. I'm using Photoshop Elements here again. Um, what I've got here is just a, a basic um, document template of a, a 6x4. There's no cut, so no double strips. And you can see there's spots here for um, four photos, three smaller ones and one, one larger one. And what we're going to do is turn this into a background. You can, this one's actually uh, an overlay made for a different program and a slightly different printer. So the first thing you have to do is look at the the um, uh, the size of the whole whole page here. If we have a look down here, we can see that it's actually um, 1800 wide by 1200 high, which is wrong for our printer because we're using a, a DNP RX1. Uh, I'm going to go and change this. I'm going to resize it. Um, canvas size. The width we actually need is 1844 uh, by 1240. And what this will do, doing it this way, it depends on how you how you want to do it. But this way, it'll actually add a little bit to the outside edge and keep all of our graphics the same size. What I'm then actually going to do, because uh, I don't need any of these units right now. With this layer here, I don't actually need these holes uh, because we're going to make a background. We don't actually need to put holes in this and make an overlay. Um, so I'm just going to change this to white and grab my um, my little paint tool here. Make sure I've got this layer selected uh, and just fill in all those areas and go for a white background. Again, you can make this any color you want. Uh, I'm going to go back here and activate these layers again. And these are just my graphics, obviously. You can put your company logo here, your phone number here, and your email address here, and whatever graphic you want in this space. But I've just got them there so that I can work out where my photos are going to go uh, without covering up my graphics. I'm going to change colors again. I'm going to choose my square because I'm going to make some square for where the photos need to go. And then I'm going to measure where those squares are so I can convert those, those uh, coordinates over to our preset in social booth. So what I'm also going to do is click on this little tool up here where you can constrain the size. Because we're using an SLR camera basically the width of our photos is going to be one and a half times the height of our photos in landscape. If you're using a webcam they tend to use different um, all sorts of different um, ratios and whatnot. Uh, the way to work it out uh, is just to grab a calculator and say it was um, it was 1280 by 720. You want to do 1280 divided by 720, and it gives you a 1.77 ratio. So you would plug that in here so that you can make squares that are exactly that ratio, and that way. Uh, you don't end up with uh, squished or, or stretched photos. But what I'm going to do, because we're using an SLR, it's going to be 1.5 to 1. I'm going to make, a, so I want a photo here. I'm going to duplicate that one. Grab my move tool. And I'm going to hit shift, uh, hold down shift and then click on this so that it stays in one line. Uh, and that spacing looks nice. And then I'm going to duplicate that one again. And before we go anywhere, I'm just going to select all of these. So click and shift click to select all three. Uh, I'm going to align their horizontal centers. No, I'm not. Uh, let's do that again. I want to distribute the horizontal centers so that they're spaced evenly. Now before I click off that, I'm just going to grab this little handle here while they're all selected and stretch them out so that it fills the screen a little bit better like that. Perfect. Click the OK button. Uh, and then I'm going to grab this tool again and make my large photo somewhere over here. That looks nice. I want to keep these um, uh, these these uh, spaces between the photos nice and even. Um, 
nice thing about Photoshop is that it actually snaps to a guide so you can see this lining up these two edges if you can't get them lined up I can select both of those and hit align left edges uh, and you could probably even increase the size of these things a little bit just to fill your space a bit better now the next thing I want to do is grab this tool here you also need your information panel now to bring that up you get lots of things like this that you don't need uh, you can just close that one there um, I'm going to need my uh, tools I'm going to need info and that gives us all sorts of information down here including an X and Y uh, coordinates you can see uh, this gives you your pixel coordinates so X being horizontal Y being a a, um, a vertical measurement uh, sometimes this will give you centimeter directions instead you just want to click on panel options uh, you can change your ruler units from centimeters to pixels so what I'm going to need to do is go in and measure this uh, size here so I'll zoom in just to make it easier grab this tool I'm going to place my crosshair right up in this corner and we want to have our crosshair just on the inside of this so your photos will actually be a little bit inside of this frame and you can see we've got an X of 65 and a Y of 57 uh, so I'm just going to write that down before I forget and I'm going to drag a guide all the way down here and let go you can see my width is 537 my height is 357 and I've got some um, social booth loaded up here uh, so what I'm going to do as you can see I've been playing around with it uh, is I'm going to ch basically create a brand new preset here I'm going to say I want four different photos and I want those four four different photos to um, to show up so I'm going to have photo one photo two photo 3 and photo 4. Number 1 is going to be those uh, width things that you just that we just looked at there. Okay, so there's our width, 537 wide, 357 high. If we just jump over the social booth, we'll put those in. Sorry, 537. Uh, and then uh, 357 wide. Sorry, 357 high. And our x and y values. 65 was X and 57 was our Y value. Now the second photo, I'm going to go back and have a look at that one. Now this one's going to have the same Y value because it's just as high and it's going to have the same width and height. In fact, because all of these three images are the same size, we can actually go and put all their coordinates in at the same size. 357 wide, and, sorry, 537 wide, uh, and 357 high. Again, 57. And they're also going to have the same Y coordinate because they're all going to, they're basically the top of them is in line. So 57 there, 57 there, and really the only thing that changes between these guys is the um, is the x value, which is the left hand corner. So I'm going to put my cursor there. X value is 649 for this one. And so we open that one up. Uh, 649 is that value there. Oops. Uh, Last one here, left hand corner is going to be about 1231. Uh, 1231. Uh, now we're going to go and do the big photo. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Alright, so X is going to be the same as this photo actually. So if we go back, uh, we want to change our X value to the same as this one, which is 65. First photo, 65. Uh, let's go and measure this guy. So 
so we might as well get our y value while we're here, uh, which is 488. Uh, if we click on this again, so 488 uh, was our y value. And now we need to get our size. And that is 684 wide, 574 high. Four wide, five, seven, four high. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and deselect. I'm going to remove my boxes. So you can see I've got nothing on there. I'm going to save this PSD so that I can come back to it again. Uh, and then I'm going to save as a PNG. Uh, and call, I'm just going to save over this one. Um, and that's basically going to be your, your background photo that you now uh, load in to Social Booth. So we'll do that right now. Via this one here. So I'll click on that. I'm going to load in that one. And before I do anything, actually, what I'll do is a quick test. Let's have a look. See what it looks like. That, uh, that doesn't look okay actually because this photo is a little bit smaller than I thought and it's not quite the same size as those in terms of ratio. So I'm going to go back here and with the 684 our height is 574 that's not quite right so let's see where we went wrong. Uh, I'm going to bring back my big square. I'm going to do a quick measurement because I think I got those measurements wrong when I typed them in. Uh, and we can see down there that our width is 860, our height is 574. Uh, so if I go back to Photoshop, uh, it was 860. Uh -huh. 60. Now let's have a quick look. That looks much, much better. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to save this as a uh, four photo promo card. And that's going to save as a preset so that anytime I want I can just hit on this um, button here and load that profile and all these things will load back in and you're good to go as long as you're happy with everything there uh, you're good to hit save and give it a test and that's it